This is my first time here and I really enjoyed it and I'm planning on coming back. Yeah, I brought a, a couple friends here before. Just because they're a little different doesn't mean that they're not praising the Lord. It's called the lighthouse because there's so many dark places that kids tend to go to at night. There's a lot of dark powers and forces and places in the world and we just wanted to be a beacon of light as a, a positive place for kids to go in our community. I'm an older generation and if people go by and don't understand what's going on, they're missing the whole concept for teenagers. I think what Lighthouse is doing is you know, excellent in letting teens come here and you know, worship God outside of church. There should be more stuff like this around here to uh, help teens. It's an outreach to the people in this town who don't have any church following or any background. I love going to the Lighthouse because like, there's always nice people there and there's awesome games to play. We can play pool anytime, foosball. Lots of things that teenagers would like to do. We have pool tables, foosball tables, computers uh, hooked up with the internet, game tables, a snack bar, just anything that we could think of that teenagers might enjoy. For the Christian kids, this presents an opportunity to bring their unsafe friends to show them that you know Christians aren't boring. Keep people off the streets. Yeah. Good to have a place yeah. to hang out yeah. on the weekends. Everybody there is just, you know, they take care of you and it's a good environment to be in. Always an alternative to the parties and stuff like that. Everybody loves each other and you just come in and you have a great time with everybody. The Lighthouse is a 3,000 square foot facility here down in downtown Apex, sponsored by Olive Chapel Baptist Church. As we went to several different um, developers and shopping centers, they didn't want us there. They didn't want teenagers. We feel very humbled and honored that um, God kind of dropped this in our lap and we've just been kind of trying to keep up with him ever since he did it. And we also decided to do an outreach as a lunch because Apex High School is just right across the highway. On the first Tuesday of each month, we provide a free lunch for the kids that's cooked by different uh, members of our church and we've had anywhere from 50 to 75 kids come for the free lunch. The goal of the free lunch and just having lunch on Tuesdays is to get kids who would normally not come here on a Friday or Saturday night to experience um, a Christian atmosphere. We, you, got to go to the Lighthouse. You gotta say God, oh, okay. because that defeats the point. Thing. Lighthouse. Yeah. It, it's over there. It's over oh. there. You gotta, you gotta go, go to the lighthouse. lighthouse. I don't want to hear it. When we're gonna say go to the lighthouse, yeah, I'll let you count to three. Yeah. Gotta, gotta go, go to the lighthouse. lighthouse. I think this is every youth minister's dream to have a place like this that can reach out to kids and that you can provide for your own youth. The Lighthouse offers a membership course, and what that is is an alcohol and drug abuse awareness refusal skills seminar. That's taught by local police officers, mothers against drunk drivers, uh, local pastors, things like that. 72% of students have never done any illicit drugs. And so the youth come in and they pay a one-time membership fee of $10 and go through the membership course and then everything is free for them. The only thing that we sell in the facility is at the snack bar and we use all that money to pay for the bands that we host and the concerts. And so at the class we teach all the different effects that alcohol and drugs can have on your bodies. We encourage them to live alcohol and drug free as our body is the temple of Christ. Just seeing everybody like here from many different churches and just different places, it feels like God is like really reaching out to the communities. And it's time for our generation to make a stand. It's time for us to stand up for what we believe in. 
and start living a pure life. It's an awesome concert, pillar, straight from Oklahoma. We usually host about two concerts a month, all Christian bands. We've had everything from praise bands to hard rock. The best part of the evening was when you just got up there and just started dancing and jumping up and down and getting into the music. I pretty much came by myself and I just fit right in. It gives us a chance to hang out with everybody yeah. we don't see on the weekends. Way better than hanging out at home because there's nothing to do. I'm getting an autograph. All of the groups we've found uh, have been very accessible to the, to the youth. They stay around, sign autographs, talk to the youth about their faith and about what they've learned in their devotional life. And those sorts of things are just added blessings that just kind of accentuate the ministry that we're doing here. You can't find many good hard rock Christian bands. When you come to places like this, they're real good. I've been here a couple times like with the concerts and Pillar's just a really good band. Our number one purpose was to have a place where kids could come and be safe in an alcohol and drug free environment and just have fun and good Christian fellowship. In all those respects, it definitely has been a success. But I can. You can pass for one. And that's against the rules. Okay. Lighthouse is not for being against rules. <laughs>